is at the center of many NASA funded endeavors covering Mars research, Earth science, solar and climate studies and more. But some of those are now at risk of shuttering. Good evening and thanks for watching News 5 on your Sunday night. I'm Brett Forrest. The other day I got a news tip. This message you see right here. It says, have you been hearing about the budget cuts at NASA? About 40 missions on the chopping block, some being worked on in Colorado. Now this source, hoping the public is aware of the potential losses if this budget goes through and the downstream effects in Colorado and El Paso County. And liftoff of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft. So they're talking about cutting the funding to about 40 NASA missions that are on the chopping block. Fran Baganol is a senior research scientist and professor at CU Boulder. Her work includes the New Horizons mission, which flew past Pluto and has continued further and further out into space. The mission began in Colorado, and if it's cut, it can never be brought back. It's a huge disappointment when it's three cents per taxpayer to keep New Horizons going? Really? The White House says it wants to focus on bringing humans to Mars at the expense of other missions and projects, calling them low priority, unaffordable, or woke. At President Trump's request, NASA's proposed budget for next fiscal year would decrease by 24 percent, leading to its smallest workforce since 1960. This impacts NASA's civil servant workforce, but also its contractor workforce, which Colorado has a lot of contractors working for NASA. That's Casey Dreyer with the Planetary Society, a nonprofit promoting space science and exploration. He's been tracking the effects of the proposed budget, which would increase funding for human exploration, but would cut other areas like science in half. Think space telescopes and non-human missions. That is a, an extinction level event for this activity. They will be turning off perfectly good missions that are active now, leaving them to tumble in space. I am not exaggerating this. Colorado is considered America's second largest aerospace economy, according to CU. NASA contracts generated more than $5 billion in economic activity, and Colorado's space industry directly employs 55,000 people. These cuts could lead to a brain drain. The scientists and engineers are going to leave the U.S., and go elsewhere, other spacefaring nations. Meantime, memos sent by the White House last week call for departments to create project closeout plans. Some fear it's an effort to shut down about 40 missions without congressional approval. The Planetary Society says they've seen the pages. Every, every mission that is proposed to be canceled has been contacted and said to plan for a closeout, to report those plans by mid next week. Um, with the closeout plan to be in place by the first day of the fiscal year, which is October 1st. We haven't seen these White House memos ourselves, but they have been reported on elsewhere. There's a number of projects that are managed or run out of Colorado that are earmarked for cancellation that they are aggressively moving to cancel before Congress weighs in. But President Trump's so-called big, beautiful bill did contain one sliver of good news for space. Congressman Jeff Crank says, I'm proud to have helped secure $10 billion in the one big, beautiful bill for NASA missions, including Artemis, which will return man to the moon for the first time in 50 years. When paired with the billions secured for the Space Force, this funding will supercharge the space economy in El Paso County and Colorado. But it doesn't touch the science cuts and it doesn't address some of the fundamental education cuts. It is it's helpful, but it doesn't solve the major problems that we see with this budget. Going back to that statement from Congressman Crank, what he didn't say was anything about the proposed fiscal year 26 budget cuts, though I did ask. If you want to weigh in one way or another, you can reach out to your local representative.